we want to solve the following multi-step linear equation, and I have the steps down here in red if needed, the important thing to remember is the goal is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation or one side of the equal sign. So looking at our equation here, the first step is going to be to clear the parentheses. And we can do this by distributing. So we'll distribute here and here, as well as here and here. We need to be careful here because of the minus sign here. We would have two minus five times x, so we'll have minus five x, and then minus five times five, which is twenty-five. And this would be equal to three times x, or three x, minus three times two, so we'll have minus six, and then minus one. Now before we go any further, we should combine like terms on the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. Notice how we can combine these two terms as well as these two terms. Two minus twenty-five would be negative twenty-three, so we'll have negative twenty-three minus five x equals, here we'll have three x, and then we can think of this as negative six minus one, that'd be negative seven, and then instead of writing plus negative seven, it's more common to write minus positive seven. Remember, those would be equivalent. Now notice on this equation, we have variable terms on both sides of the equation. If our goal is to isolate the variable on one side, we need to add or subtract to eliminate one of the variable terms on either side. So if we want to eliminate the minus five x on the left, we can add five x to both sides. Or if we want to eliminate this positive three x, we could subtract three x on both sides. It seems most prefer to have the variable terms on the left side, so we'll undo this positive three x by subtracting three x on both sides of the equation. So we'd have negative twenty-three, and then minus five x minus three x, or negative five x minus three x, that would be negative eight x. So I'll write minus eight x must equal three x minus three x, that's zero, that's why we did that. And then we have negative seven. And now we finally have a basic two-step equation. We want to undo this negative twenty-three, as well as undo this multiplication here. Well, we can undo negative twenty-three by adding positive twenty-three. So if we add twenty-three to both sides of the equation, notice this would be zero, but we must also do the same to the other side. So this would be zero, bring down the negative eight x, and here we have negative seven plus twenty-three, which would be positive sixteen. And then the last step, because negative eight x means negative eight times x, we're going to divide both sides by negative eight. So negative eight divided by negative eight would be positive one times x, which is x. And on the right side we have positive sixteen divided by negative eight, which is equal to negative two. So our solution is x equals negative two. We won't take the time to check this solution, but what that means is if we substitute negative two for x in the original equation, it would make this equation true or it would satisfy this equation. So you may want to take a moment and verify that. I hope this was helpful.